who is the hottest Hollywood character in 2024? Of course, Ghost Rider. No, but really, this man seems to become a definition of everything he touches turns into gold. So how did he get to this point? What trademarks make him so special? And what is he going to do next? December 27th, 1995. A French-American boy named Timothy Howell Chalamet was born. As a son of an American mother with Russian and Austrian roots, who worked as a real estate agent and a Broadway dancer. And a French father who worked as an editor for UNICEF and the United Nations. Unlike many other famous stars, he didn't grow up in extreme poverty, primarily spending his youth in Hell's Kitchen, Manhattan, or a French village named Les Chabons sur Lyon. From a very young age, he grew up in a family filled with show business. His uncle was a film producer, his aunt a TV producer and a screenwriter, his grandfather was a screenwriter, and if that wasn't enough, his sister also became an actress. With so much influence through film and television, he quickly began to star in commercials and short horror skits. Until he made his television debut in 2009, with a small role in the popular police series, Law & Order. After he played in a couple more series, he made his film debut in 2014, as he starred in Men, Women and Children, alongside Adam Sandler. Not bad to start off. And after making a small appearance in the film Worst Friends, he appeared in a Chris Nolan movie. But that wasn't even his main breakthrough. After he starred in a couple more obscure movies, he truly became noticed in 2017, when he starred in Call Me By Your Name as Elio Perlman. From that point on, Timothy decided to become a snowball falling off a film star. On that trip, he appeared in more films and TV shows, alongside many well-known names, such as... Lady Bird, Beautiful Boy, Woody Allen's Rainy Day in New York, Wes Anderson's The French Dispatch, alongside Bill Murray, Owen Wilson and Adrian Brody, just to name a few, Dennis Villeneuve's Dune, Don't Look Up, alongside Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence, Wonka's Willy Wonka, Dune Part 2, Dune, Dune, Dune and Dune. Oh sorry, I went a little too far. Now that we discussed his origins and filmography, what about his acting and style? Throughout film history, most actors became famous partially due to a trademark. Humphrey Bogart because of his eyes, Arnold Schwarzenegger because of his accent, and Tom Cruise because of his stunts. So what sets Timothy Chalamet apart from others? First of all, Timothy's wide range of characters usually contain two traits. They're both complex and authentic. If we take Wonka for example, his character, Willy Wonka, only has one goal. Opening his own chocolate store. But when the cartel mm -hmm. denies permission, the conflict comes into play and leaves Wonka with a decision to make. Shall I keep trying or give up? Helping to develop Wonka's character, he begins passionately, then gets disrupted and considers his priorities, followed by a gain of support which leaves him in a new consideration. When things start to go his way, he's excited. And when he stops, he feels disappointed once more. That's the complexity. Now if I would ask you, what does the average French cultural character include? Une barrette, a glass of wine, une baguette, une petite moustache. If we take a look at Timothy's character in The French Dispatch, one simple detail that makes Timothy's character authentic by appearance is his moustache. Yet he also sells his character through movements, mannerisms and intuition. All in all, what he's achieved so far is pretty impressive, considering that he's only 28 years old. And yet, something recently happened that establishes him as an A-list actor, or will establish him as an A-list actor. Currently, Timothy is like a gold mine, and once you know you got the material, you go after it. And so did Warner Brothers, as Timothy recently signed a new deal with the studio, giving him the ability to not just act, but to also direct future projects. You know you're in film heaven when Warner Brothers puts that much faith in you, even though it's unclear what projects he will act in, or even direct. For now he truly is the star of his generation, and maybe, just maybe, his first Oscar is on the way. <laughs>